Hello everyone, here is the new indicator uh, slash tool which is going to help us identifying the setups we are dealing with. I really hope you are going to uh, enjoy it guys and it will be helpful for you. I've tried to summarize inside of it, well basically the main issues, um, what we've been talking about during all these months since we've been using FX Delta and just try to put it here in one place especially for the manual part, right? So what do we do? This is basically a checklist which um, is going to give you an idea and an output at the end plus a recommendation once you have selected the given criteria. So let's see dollar yen for example, right? Dollar yen, we have a bearish setup, we click on it, we open the chart and we go to the higher time frames. Now, what do we see on the higher time frames? Do we have any divergence against? Yes, we do. We do have bullish hidden, uh, sorry, bullish divergence here. So we check higher time frame divergence against, which says no risk available because this is not currently tradable. In other words, wait for hidden divergence on the higher time frame before entries. That means we need to wait for hidden divergence. And then we can go ahead and see that there is in fact hidden divergence right there. Perfect. So this part uh, of the recommendation has already been done. Of course, we, you don't need to go over these steps. I'm just giving you an example of how clicking over all of this is going to work. In our case, what's most relevant at the moment is higher time frame hidden divergence currently present. And that immediately tells us uh, that the risk is medium and the recommendation is make sure there is a strong level around the entry. That could be trend line, support resistance, pivot, Fibonacci, anything you might have in mind. And in my opinion, because we have that zone right here, okay, let's actually use the lines. We have that zone here with the spikes and all that. This is pretty much a fantastic level. So do we have a level? Is the price inside of this level? Yes, we do. That means I'm going to click on price near level checkbox. Okay. And now I see that the risk has turned to conservative and the recommendation is look for entry. The output of course says tradable. Right. And this is how you can be uh, going over these things um, for some time of course I'm not saying you have to do that all the time but until you get comfortable doing that on your own you can use this checklist tool what else can we say here is uh, that if you switch the time frames you're going to lose the selections if you select something which has no sense basically you can do something like that there is divergence against and there is higher and there is hidden divergence with us which is impossible right we cannot have the two divergences at the same time it's either or uh, you're going to see not available and output will be empty um, also you have this reset button here the blue thing on the top right corner if you click it it will reset your selection and that's pretty much all so I hope once again you're going to like it and enjoy it guys. If you have any comments or issues with that, please let me know. Thank you.